Real estate can be a perfectly fine investment, but it usually isn't. And the reason it usually isn't is uh, simply that most of the time, people don't take into account the full costs of owning the real estate, which includes the taxes, the interest payments, the deferred maintenance, and all of the rest that go into calculating the real total return of the real estate. Historically, the real returns have been someplace much lower than stocks, but much higher than cash. And that means they can be OK. The problems include, usually you got to run them yourself, which is labor on your part, or you got to pay somebody to do it, and they largely take you to the cleaners, usually. Uh, the, the, the costs of property management are high. And then thirdly, you got to do it in the right place in the right location. There's residential, there's subsets of non-residential, and then there's the old saying, location, location, location. When you actually look at the way most people, however, think about real estate, because it's non-volatile, they like it, and they tend to not look at the full cost, so they tend to think their returns are higher than the returns actually are. And so real estate has a better image than its reality. Now, there's one final feature, which is that with real estate, you can lever it really heavily. But remember, you could lever almost anything else also. And so people calculate the return as if it's levered, where they should think about their total financial situation as if it was comparably levered. That is, that's a piece of a pie that they're allocating that return to when their overall financial situation has a certain piece of the pie that's leverage. Overall, real estate's OK. It can be bad. It can be good. It's usually worse than people think it is. And it tends to fall on a spectrum of total return that's in between stocks being higher in the long term, cash being lower in the uh, long term, and it being in between.